So hey guys, welcome back to another episode. It's the 31st of March today, last day of March. And finally the sun has come back out after a week of it being pretty miserable to be honest on here. It's been a lot of rain. I think yesterday was rather dry but still cold. Uh, luckily today though the sun has come out and it's a real nice day. It's good t-shirt weather. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to go up to my uh, hive and do the first inspection of the year. So all that's going to entail really is brushing out the floor, um, checking the nest to see how they're doing, the brood, etc. Uh, checking to see how much room they've got in there, so how close they are to filling up their box. I've taken up another super just in case, but I don't need it today to be honest. And plus it isn't drawn out, so the weather's still probably a bit cold for them to be drawn up wax. Whew, a little bit of breath here. It's a nice hill to walk up, but um, yeah, we'll get up there now, we'll get the smoker going, and uh, we'll get through it, shall we? So I'll see you in a minute, guys. Hey guys, I thought I'd just uh, quickly, before I start, show you how I go about lighting my smoker. All I do is I use a bit of uh, birch, I think it is, bark, and I've got a bag here of birch, uh, rotted down wood that's been dried out. This is a piece of oak, I think, but you can see from that, it's a nice good colour and usually when I'm going through a lot of hives I'll burn big blocks of wood like this because they just last forever but when I'm usually going through just one hive like my own for example uh, I usually use grass um, or hay shall I say but unfortunately I left the bag down the allotment during the winter so uh, we're stuck with this today but this stuff is really good the bark is because it's full of oils and it gets going really quick so all I've done is I've just put a bit of paper in the bottom and a few little bits of uh, bits of wood like this, smaller, slightly smaller than this one, but that should get it going off to a good start. So if I get in the shade, wind keeps getting me. All right, I think we're going now. I'll just light them in here, I think it'll be a bit easier for me. I'll just add a little bit of air to get it going. nice fire in there and we're just going to build her up now until we get it going well and then we we'll close the lid down and extinguish the flame so we just got it smouldering and then we can take it from there she's starting to pick up now Put a little bit more bark on top just to get it going properly The reason I build the fire up quite big guys is because uh, I did have a smaller smoker than this last year and the nightmare thing with that is it just kept going out so halfway through the hive when you needed your smoke uh, you'd turn around and it would be gone out and you'd have to light her again so nice big smoker like this go nice good ember fire going and then we can take it from there all right let's put the lid back on and we'll get this going like that. There you go, there's our smoke lit guys. So we'll make a start on the high, shall we? Okay guys, so we're just going to make a start on this. We've got plenty of activity around the entrance, bringing in lots of pollen. The first thing I'm going to do is just going to give them a bit of a smoke in this entrance. Leave them settle down just for a few seconds. I'm just gonna pop my smoker on that fencer just to hold it. Oh. We'll gently remove the top roof and we'll just put this down like that. Now you can see here, guys, 
a uh, little bit of sugar fondant that I put on for the winter. I'm just going to smoke these guys down. Just let them know I'm here. And you can also see the bag of sugar fondant that I put on. So this is um, a pollen uh, mixed with fondant and this is just some cast uh, um, icing sugar that I made up myself and that went on um, around September time that went on around I think January time something along the lines of that so now that we got them to move down a bit you can see they're not too happy about this we're just gonna pop our snake back there and we'll take off this crown nice and quick we don't want to leave the hive open too long today so we'll just pop this crown board like so, and we're just gonna put that straight over there and won't bother shaking any bees off today. So you can see here guys, it looks like our main cluster is here. So they've moved out from the center and they moved over here, which is really good news for me because I know that they've glued up this center because when I first caught the swarm, unfortunately a few of the wax frames were, um, a few of the wax foundations, so I say, had bowed because they'd been in there a long time before the swarm came. So they actually drew out a few layers in between the two of them. But this looks okay. Got pop a smoker there. And we're just gonna pop out our dummy board at the end there. If we can get in here. It's a little difficult. So there we go. There's our dummy board free. So we'll just Get that out, there we go. You can see here guys, where we've got some creep corallies that have come in the hive. It looks like this bottom board is actually slightly damp, so I'm not sure what's going on there. That's maybe why they've moved all the way across. We have a slug here as well. I'm not sure how he's got in the hive, but we're just gonna remove him now. So we'll clean this off. Give these ladies a little bit more smoke and the sun come back up. Across the top, just calm down a little bit. So we pop this dummy board down here, like so, and then we're just going to start by snapping apart some of these frames and checking them out. So we've actually got mold in this. We've got some cap sores at the top, but as you can see, we've got some mold on the bottom, and I think that's some cap stores. No, it ain't actually. That's the end of the foundation. So we'll just pop this one here as well. And then we'll work our way across quickly. I probably won't go through the cluster today, guys, since it's still pretty cold. But you can see how they've been drawing this out. Some nice stores here. Bit of a patchy frame, mind you. And you can still see here as well a bit of mildew. So that tells me that the hive's been a bit damp over winter, so I need to find out why that is. So now that we've got two frames out, we'll just push the rest across. So just snap them apart gently. Well, as you can see, well, I don't know if you guys can see here, if you come around here and look down in between those two frames there, you can see that they've glued these two frames together pretty nicely all the way down. So I'm not going to bother popping them apart, but there's, it looks like a lot of stores in there, so that's okay. So now we'll let the other, just try to pop these apart nice and quickly. Actually, that is the exact same all the way down through there. They've started to glue these frames up pretty nicely. But I can see from just looking here, actually, what I think I'll do is I'm going to pop out this end frame. Because it looks like this one's full to the room of stores. So we'll just give this one a check. Looks like it'll come out quite easily. It's my smoker. Let's give these a little more smoke. Calm them down a little bit. We'll just pull that up. And have a look at this one. So the top of that frame's got some nice stores in it. Back's empty. But the whole back of this frame is full to the brim of honey stores. If you come around here, you can see that quickly. Look in there. See all that full to the brim of honey stores in there, guys. 
So if you can get the camera down in to have a look. Angle down in. There you go. So I'll just pop this frame back in. Well, before I do that, actually, I'm just going to pop it on the other side just for a second. Oh, they don't like that. Just trying to work a bit quick here today. We'll just pop this one apart to have a little look to see if there's any brood in here to make sure we've got a good lane queen. So we lift that up. That's all stores as well, guys. Bees are quite calm and uh, relaxed out here, so that's good. Some nice pollen in there. Oh, that's a real good frame next door to that full of stores. So we'll see if we can take a quick look at that. All I want to see, guys, is just a little bit of brood, and then I'll be happy to uh, close this hive back up after I clean the floor out. So I'm just going to lift that up nice and quick. Have a look. There we go. We've got brood in the middle. Perfect. Nice stores there. Huge frame, huge frame of stores on the back with a tiny little bit of brood. So that's okay. And that isn't drone brood, no. That's good brood. So, that back in. I'll have a look at this next frame because it looks like this is where the main brood nest is. Take a quick look at this. Out it comes. Plenty of brood that side. Good. Huge amount of brood that side. Perfect. And have a quick look at that frame in there. Yeah, plenty of stores and we've got some brood on that too. So I'm happy. It looks like the cluster is doing really well. So before we annoy these too much now, since it is quite cold today, we're going to get them all back in. Sort them out. We just sort this out quickly. There we go. So let's push this frame back up. Without crushing these bees if we can help it. So frame back up, frame back up. Is that the end one? No, the other side is the end one. So you can see they're getting a bit upset now, so not that one. Rather this one here. So that will go back in there. No need to move frames around for stores. These girls are doing really well. So we're just gonna push them back in there. We wanna be careful because we don't wanna crush the queen or anything. As you can see, they're getting a bit upset. So we're just gonna give them a bit of a smoke, try and calm them down a little bit. And quickly, that frame goes in that way. That frame, is in that way. Uh, dummy board. Dummy board goes back in. Just like that. And then we'll run these bees down off the top here quickly. So I'm sure the temps probably dropped in that hive now. Although it's a nice day out. It's probably, I think it's about 14 degrees, so it's about 60 Fahrenheit, so it's a good time to come in. Crown board, back on top, like so. And then all we need to do now is grab a hive tool and do this floor quickly. So we're gonna pop that box off. Lift it up, bloody hell. The weight on that is something unreal. And now guys, you can see there, all of the crap, mildew and whatever. So all I'm gonna do is, I'd like to bang some of these bees out on top. Yeah, maybe I can smoke them off of here so I can just bang this onto the floor then. So all I'm gonna do is just in front of the hive, bang those bees off. And then, because I've got my brush, I'm just going to do it by hand really quick. Any dead bees out of here that's been in here for winter. Only bit of wax or whatever. It's much easier if you've got a brush, much cleaner as well. 
but looks good enough for me for now. So we're just gonna pop that back there where it was, right up to exact same spot. We'll give these girls a little. There we go, and then box back on top, and we are done. So let me just make sure it's right there. Yeah. Lift her up. Box goes back on top. Take our tool out, we'll put that away now because we don't need her anymore. And all these nurse bees, or some of them are flyers on top, I'm just gonna fly to at least. Let's bang them off in. Wow, look at the spiders in there, guys. Some nice big spiders in there. So, I think I'll clean that out. There we go. So, I'm trying to get these jolts back off into the hive. There we go. And the lid goes back on. So, guys, there's a job done. I'm not too happy, I'm sure. But we did it as quickly and painlessly as we could. We know we've got a lane queen in there, so that's all good. We've overwintered successfully. We know we've got some sort of mildew problem at the back here that we're going to have to address. We know we've got plenty of stores in the hive, and obviously they're bringing in pollen, raising up brood, etc. We know they're on at least, I think, about seven frames or was eight frames. So this colony's good. It's overwintered well, it's strong. So we can leave this now until probably mid-April before I'm even bothered about going through this again. I know it's got plenty of room, don't need the super. So we're happy and we can leave them just get on in peace. So that's it for today guys. A little quick inspection, spring inspection of our hive. So all's good there. I think we'll leave it at that. So guys, there we have it. We've finished our early spring inspection. Fortunately, I've got to bring a brush up with me, which is a bit of a silly move. So I made my gloves really dirty again by just cleaning all out, cleaning the bottom out. Um, gonna have to check up uh, with some friends about that mildew problem, see what may have caused it. Um, I guess it's probably the hive is pretty damp over winter, or there might be a little leak in the hive, which is a bit concerning, to say the least. Um, quite lucky and fortunate that that leak wasn't any worse and our bees didn't freeze to death over the winter. We've had a mild winter which is very lucky I think, uh, very fortunate for my... So um, yeah with all that done and out of the way now I'm just going to go back up uh, after I've been shopping just to see how they've settled back down. You can usually uh, tell if everything's okay in the hive from that. Um, so I'm always really paranoid that I've squished my queen um, which would be a real tragic thing to do this time of year, to be honest. Um, it could mean the end of the colony, so I'll go up later, check to see what the behaviour is like, if it's back to normal, I think we should be okay. Um, quick little tip before I go as well, guys, on how to put out your smoker once you finish using it. All I do is I grab a little piece of grass like this and stuff it in the end, and as you can see, it's been about a minute since I've done that. So, um, smoker's already gone out, so I'll just leave that in a cool place for an hour now, just to any small remembers to go out and then I'll bring it back in the house. But um, yeah, Renichi knows. I think that's uh, it for the bees now. Uh, we had a pretty good cluster in there. We can see that we're on uh, probably about six or seven frames. Round about that, I think there was only what, one, two, three. Yeah, we've got like, three frames that weren't being used. So the hive's looking really strong and Probably first week of April, maybe second week of April, when the weather picks up a little bit. I'll go up there, stick a super on top. Either that, or I'll put a brood box underneath and just put them on double brood. Not entirely sure which yet, I'll have to make a decision, but I know that I do want my hives on double brood rather than brood and a half, so we'll take it from there. So, we're back home now, guys. So, I think that's gonna be me signing off for today. So, uh, take care, guys, and uh, I'll speak to you soon.